You guys, it's the weekend, what what? It's not that exciting for me though because I actually have to be at work at 6.45 in the morning tomorrow on Sunday, which is just not cool. Um, but anyways, I hope everyone is having or had a great week. I hope your weekend is awesome, be safe. Um, I am just, my hair is a bit of a mess. I am on my way to get a haircut. So there's no reason to do your hair if they're just gonna chop it off. So um, yeah, we'll see what I, I'm feeling a little adventurous today, so we'll see <laughs> in an hour or so what I end up walking out of that salon looking like. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I've been wanting to do something kind of different for a while and I've been, if you follow me on Instagram, I know I always like reference Instagram, but Instagram is, I mean, I basically post a photo a day and that's kind of where I like, before I started vlogging, that's where I was like sharing what was going on with my life, I guess, I don't know, in like a weird way. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram or have for a while, um, like I said, when I dyed my hair dark, it was light and then it was dark. So I've, I've switched it up with the color quite a bit, but now I think I'm going to switch it up as far as the style is concerned. So, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of going with the flow. Um, I'm going to get her insight and see how she feels about it and the stylist and yeah, so Either way, you got you can't take life too seriously. You kind of just have to have fun with it, right? Hair grows. Maybe I'll end up with like a shaved head. So I didn't shave my head, obviously, um, but I did cut quite a bit off. So now it's if you can kind of see it, it's like shorter, lots of layers and texture, and kind of just like short and shaggy which is what I was going for. So I love it, I think it's fun. Um, just like a nice change of pace. I've had long hair for a really long time. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of fun to change it up and my head feels like super light now since I took off a lot of that weight and that bulk. So anyways, yeah, that's the new do for right now anyway. So now I am just um, heading up to Los Angeles to um, Go to a friend's birthday party and yeah but ugh, like I said earlier I have to work at 6 45 in the morning tomorrow ugh. so it'll be an early night for me I have a feeling I'm pretty confident of that so I realized yesterday that I never actually said what my tattoo meant um I kind of talked about it but I didn't say what it was um the meaning behind it it means it's in Hebrew and it, it's the word or the name Emmanuel in Hebrew and Emmanuel means God with us. So in the Old Testament, um, God had different names based on his character. So like Jehovah Jireh is provider, Jehovah Rapha is healer, Jehovah Shalom is um, peace and etc. etc. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I've always called God all of those things because he's been all of those things to me and for me um, but with this particular one um, I've been in growing up I think we all have you, you go through really dark dark times and really really dark moments um, without getting like too deep or too into it um, just some really just some really bad bad stuff, bad times, um, you can kind of feel just like that darkness that just kind of hovers over you and, you know, you can pray and you can read your Bible and you can seek out the counsel of your loved ones and, but it's still, there's just like this heaviness, um, for lack of a better term, that just kind of like weighs on you and, um, I went through some really heavy stuff and just throughout all of that, the hope and, um, just like the comfort of knowing that God was always with me. He was always on my side. Now I've been alive long enough to see that the things that happened that were so negative and so hurtful and so just um, the things that break you the most, um, if you just believe and have faith, he can work them out and he will work them out for good and for your good. And I've learned that now. Um, when you're younger and you don't have much life experience or you haven't been through a lot, it's really hard to hold on to that. But now that I've been through so much and I've come full circle, I'm like, you spared me, you helped me out. Even when I messed up and I was like acting a fool, you were still always, always there. And um, I mean, 
mean, if the creator of the universe is on your side, what can really mess with you? You know what I mean? Like a financial issue, relationship issues, they, they got nothing on God. So it was just really, really comforting to me. It always has been. I've always wanted to get this tattooed on myself. Um, and I just waited until now to do it. So um, that's why it means a lot to me. I Maybe one day I'll go into a little bit more little bit more of the specifics and the details as to kind of what I've been through in life um, but for now we'll just leave it at that that you know we all go through stuff but if you just keep the hope alive and try to just stay positive and believe for the best it will come you, you will you will come out on the other side I promise you that I am living proof of it I promise you that you will so sorry to get like deep for a minute or whatever kind of ramble I tend to do that but um, I just thought I would address it so that's what this tattoo means God is with us always um, he's always been with me and it's just such a comfort and now I have kind of this visual reminder because guaranteed until I die I'm gonna go through some more hard stuff and this now is just something that um, not only is in my spirit, but now it's like physically on my body. So when I look down, it's just kind of that um, That really just strong reminder. So Yeah, so that's that. I'm sorry for just going on and on but um, Yeah, I hope that kind of answers what it means um, if it didn't I'm sorry I'm just terrible at explaining things. So yeah <laughs>